Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. What I'm going to show you now is a program that allows you to save the readings from your ultrasonic sensor into a text file as you press a button on your robot. So it doesn't do anything if you don't press the button, but if you press the button, it stores what the reading from the ultrasonic sensor is at that point in time into a text file. So to get that to work, firstly let's um, clear the screen and make it display some text. So let's um, drag the display block and let's just say <clears throat> we want to display some text on the screen. And the text we're going to display is press middle button. Okay, and um, it's going to display on the first row, first column, and it's going to have a font size of 2. So after we press the uh, middle mouse button, so let's drag this, we wait until the middle uh, button on the brick is pressed, is bumped, so press and then released. After we do that, then what we do is we read the um, ultrasonic sensor reading. We measure the distance in centimeters and we store it in a file. So if you open up this advanced tab and choose the file access button. Okay, and what it means is we want to save it to a file name called ABC, but you can call it whatever you want. So let's call it ultrasonic and let's say we want to write to the file so all you gotta do is drag this line from the ultrasonic sensor block to the old to the file access block and what this does is as soon as you press the middle button it'll record the reading and save it into the file so what we want to do is we want to put all of this inside a loop so that it's going to repeat everything here over and over again. So every time we press the middle mouse button it saves a number and you might also want to display a message to say um, reading saved. So let's display a message here called reading saved um, and let's pause for pause for one second. Alright, so it's going to say press middle mouse button and then you press the button. It reads the ultrasonic sensor from port 4, saves the reading into this file and then it's going to say reading save. So let's try this with our robot and see what happens. So let's download it. So you can see that the text is a little bit big, but we can easily change the font size later. But when we press the middle mouse button, it says reading saved. All right, it flashes that text. So let's try it a few more times. So let's press it um, three times. And you can see here, I've got an ultrasonic sensor here. So the robot has an ultrasonic sensor attached here. And I'm going to uh, face my robot approximately, let's say, um, about, 30, about 30 to 40 centimeters from the wall. So I'm going to press it a few more times. Okay, so now let's go back to the computer and load up the robot and see what happens. Okay, so now let's stop running the program and since we still have our robot connected, we can load up the memory browser here. Alright, and you can see my program is called EB3 Yes or No Program. So let's go into that folder and you should see a file called um, ultrasonic.rtf and that is the text file that all the readings have gone to. 
Uh, by the way, if you want to fix the font problem, all you got to do is change this number here to 1 and it should uh, make the text a bit smaller so it fits on the screen. But now um, let's upload this file to our desktop. Let's save the file and let's open up the file from our desktop. And you can see that as soon as I've double clicked on the file, it's opened. And these are my readings from the ultrasonic sensor, which is about 30 centimeters. So that is definitely correct. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.